Good Saturday morning, everybody. I came out real early this morning, about 6 o'clock, and ran a couple of orders, but now you're going to dash with me for the next hour or so and see how you like dashing in a small town. I'm starting out now. I do have a question for you though. Dash upon arrival. This just started popping up on my app a couple of three weeks ago. Instead of having to wait till you get into your zone to start your dash, you can hit dash upon arrival and when you start getting close, it goes ahead and start looking for orders. Oh, there's my first order. A two mile, $2.50 McDonald's order. Nope, not gonna take that. If they can't tip, then they're not getting food. Do it, has this been happened to any of the rest of you on your apps? Is this a complete platform wide thing or are they just testing it out in certain markets? Let me know in the comments. I'd really like to know. I kinda like it better because I don't have to wait till I get to that certain spot and hit dash now I can just hit that and it reserves my spot McDonald's 4.1 miles for five dollars I'm gonna take that order I will let you know when I get to the restaurant okay we're getting ready to pull into McDonald's now Bear in mind, this is a small town in Northeast Tennessee. It is my favorite town. I love it here. I love being in the mountains. So here we are at McDonald's. Okay, so let's go in and pick up this order. I'll be back. Okay guys, I got my order picked up. This is the first time I think I've ever been in McDonald's and my order's actually been ready when I got there. I can't believe it. It blows my mind. Now we're going to go do the drop off. I'll get right back with you as I drop it off. We're going to give you a little bit of view of the neighborhood. Since you're dashing with me, I want you to be able to see what I see. On this order, the drop-off instructions are leave at my door, ring doorbell, and leave it on the left side of the door, please. That's something that apparently door dashers don't seem to understand is you've got to leave it away from the door to where the door won't, will not hit the order when it opens and leave it where they can just open their door and reach down and grab it. can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm sanitizing my hands. I always sanitize before I pick up and before drop off.
and when you make your drop off and take your picture you got to try your best to make sure you can get the house number in the picture that's another good piece of advice for new dashers starting out A lot of people just leave the comments blank, but not me. Okay, that order is complete. Whenever I complete an order, I will always in the comments leave a note that says left that door or left beside door or left on bench by door, whatever, wherever I leave it. And then I'll put enjoy at the bottom of it. And that seems to really make people's day when you do things like that. Just small little things. If you're dropping off a Walmart order instead of enjoy, type in have a great day. If a customer messages you thanks after you drop their order out, message back, you're welcome, have a great day. Small things like that make a big difference. I'll let you know when I get another order. Well, that didn't take long. I've already got another order, 4.3 miles for $6 from Chick-fil-A. I will take that order. Except right down my miles 4.3 I keep track of the mileage that it gives me on DoorDash that way I have that plus whatever my odometer readings are to give turn in for income taxes I don't know exactly how it works I don't know if you can count everything you drive during your dash or if you can only count what mileage DoorDash gives you yet. I haven't done taxes for DoorDash. I just started in February. This store right here, I was the assistant manager at this store and I quit to do DoorDash full time. Just a little bit of information so you can give you an idea of who I am. way to Chick-fil-A now to pick up this order. I'll be back with you after a while. Okay, I'm pulling up to Chick-fil-A now. As I'm pulling up, I want to ask you guys something. I had an incident yesterday. During a drop-off, somebody had a bush, potted bush on their porch. It had green and red leaves on it. I'm not sure what it was, but it just about killed my allergies. Just while I was standing there dropping the order and taking the picture, my eyes started watering, my nose started running. I lost my, just about completely lost my voice for 30, 45 minutes. Have you all ever experienced something like that while you're doing a drop off? Somebody have a plant on their porch that you're allergic to? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I'm in to pick up the Chick-fil-A order. I will be right back. Oh yeah, before I go in, always sanitize. See, sanitize your hands, put your mask on, don't forget to use your bag. I'm about one of three dashers in this town that actually uses their hot bags. That's just what restaurants, customers tell me and what I've observed on my own. Well. I'm going to pick this order up. I shall return. All right, we have the Chick-fil-A order picked up. Right here it is. Three drinks, some food, hot food, and a cold fruit cup. So, there we go. Now it is time to go drop it off at the veterinary, local veterinary hospital. you a little bit of a view of town here while we're running. It's not much, but it's home. I was born and raised here. I moved away for a few years, but I came back home.
here's one of the subways in town. We have four subways in this town. We have more subways than we do McDonald's. East Tennessee Veterinary Hospital. Looks like this is the spot. I can do that very easily. Fish I was talking about looked kind of like that, only it had green leaves on it too. If you know what kind of bush that is, let me know, please. Thank you. Mask. Sanitizer. I will drop this order off and I will be back with you. I had to decline on orders. I was walking back to the car. It was 12.4 miles for $6.50. That just ain't gonna happen. There's another one. Another McDonald's, 4.6 miles for $5.50. I'll go ahead and take that, why not? paying orders all weekend. Yesterday was a bunch of low paying orders too. I don't know what's up with that. First couple of weeks of the month it's usually a little bit better paying orders. But I don't know, the average around here is five to seven dollars. It's been getting better though. Here lately I've had a lot of $10 and $11 orders, so people are starting to tip a little bit better. Not by much though. So McDonald's on my pass, it's the one that always screws everything up. This should be interesting. I'm back. I've already picked up my McDonald's order, so we're going to go drop it off, and we're going to see where we stand after that. Okay, guys. About three weeks ago, I finally had a wreck doing this. Somebody was setting at a light to make a left hand turn and instead of yielding like they were supposed to they just jumped on out it was just barely a little bump but we still did hit so I mean I guess it happens but if people would learn how to drive it would be better you know what I mean have many of you had accidents while, been out, while you've been out working let me know. Let me know in the comments. I, I'd like to know how. I'd like to know statistics on this. How many DoorDash drivers have accidents while they're dashing? There's a new app now, out now called Bite Squad. It seems to be a lot like Grubhub. I've not ran an order yet, but I signed up for it. DoorDash is the only delivery service that operates in my city as far as food goes. If I want to do Grubhub or Bite Squad or anything, I have to go to Johnson City, the next big town up from me. It's about 20 miles away, which I do every once in a while on the weekends to go up there, especially if it's slow here in town. Y'all ever travel around, go to other districts, other markets and dash to see how it does? If you do, if you have, 
driving you've done good or better than what you normally do let me know in the sec comment section below give me a rundown of about how much you make a week for how many hours I'm always curious about that Close to dropping this order off I will get back with you here shortly okay got the order dropped off we have ran for about 45 minutes 50 minutes and made $16.50 that's not bad money for, for this early on a Saturday morning I might get I might make another video tonight when University of Tennessee is playing football. I'd say it'll be crazy then. But you have, I want you guys to have a great day. Stay safe out there and make all the money you possibly can. Till next time, this is your small town door dasher signing off.